Before we get into this, a massive, massive announcement. We have recently hit 700 subscribers, and I thank every pony so, so much. Anyway, there is going to be a little bit of a description of what I thought of what we're going to do for this in the video. So stay tuned and sit back and enjoy. Really? Your first day in Equestria and you bring a swarm of pear sprites? Oh, hey every pony, New Leaf here. And today we're here to continue our journey into Equestria. Now, last episode I said I was gonna complete collecting hats for the guard, and you know what? We did. The guard is now officially in Equestria, and unfortunately he may or may not have brought a couple of friends that we don't want around here. Sheesh. A pony that likes pear sprites, eh? That seems awfully threatening. Now, anyway, we will now claim two gems? Whoa, that is awesome. Next up. Really? You're, you're making me collect ten gems, or I can just skip it for five? I'll, I'll, I'll take the five, thank you. <laughs> um, so we can collect fancy cakes. Which is something that is another weighty one, and lemonade, not as weighty, but how often do we actually get cakes? Or where do we even get cakes? I think it's this one? Nope, the Martian does not have cake, Leafy. Huh? This place? Once every five hours? Okay, game. Okay. That's that's a bummer, but this is that's a lot more doable than going ahead and um and just waiting to collect fifty hats. Only fifteen more quests, and Luna is pretty much on our side. And Luna, uh, for those of you wondering what you actually get besides you know completing Ponyville, is she has this ability of giving you a steady supply of elemental shards every pony. That is definitely something you can never have too much of. Anyway, Coloratura also has another thing that we got into complete. Now, here she, she's here, she's here, I can't believe she's Contest Coloratura, autograph my face. Now wait just a pip and peck in second, that is Rara. AJ, clear the way, stand back, very important pony coming through, Countess Coloratura. Okay. So, do we officially get to use her? How long is that gonna take? We're, we're gonna go over to Sweet Apple Acres, I guess. Let's go to Sweet Apple Acres and solve that. Sweet Apple Acres. Now, seriously, every pony, um, there is, or better said, humans, there is a little national, national day in Equestrian. That is Muffin Day, every pony, so... You know, every pony's busy is eating muffins, and if you don't, every pony, that is considered quite offensive to some ponies. Seriously, don't tell tell the male pony you're not eating a muffin today if you don't want to get in trouble. Um, so send Sven Gallop to ins huh? I have to build a sh Ooh, I have to ten sh ten gems, or I can just skip this for I can just I'm gonna just skip this for ten. Nope. You can't make me game. Next step is produce quills. Are you serious right now? Okay, I guess. Why is everything gotta be so expensive around here? I mean, we have been getting a lot of gems because Spike has been around every pony. Send Calvatura to rehearse her song. Oh. Ugh, it's back to another one of these, huh? Ugh. My luck is immeasurable, huh? Alright. Oh. I guess I'm just gonna have to do this with Fluttershy. And it needs 50 of these? Huh? Mr. Breezy's 35. Oh, this is just becoming the biggest sinkhole for, for bits and ages. Um, the Quills and Sofa Shop is... Oh my gosh, game. You're really making me go all of the lengths. 
Mr. Breezy. 35 gems. So in other words, they're basically stuck in a spot without using massive, massive amounts of gems in here. Is that's that's what I'm getting. We're we're gonna need so many gems. It's absolutely crazy. Um so we basically have to go on a spending spree this episode? I guess we can. It's gonna take ages to recover from it. Uh, so this is 35. L let me compare the prices and just do two of these for now. Since this is our new collect everything. Oh. Huh. Quills and sofa is 60. And this other thing, the orange shop is, I think, 40. So let's start with the orange shop. Let's let's get the orange shop going, every pony. This is the ultimate spending spree, but if we're ever gonna make some progress, this is what we're gonna need to do. We're gonna spend some more gems later, but we're probably also gonna be getting some back. Well, this is the first time in ages that we go underneath 500 gems, but the game is forcing this down our throats. Um, oh yeah, one other thing I wanted to look at and see if there is like something that tells you what you need to do for 100% and every pony. There is. Take a look at this. So you see there is a bunch of stuff that we already did. I don't know if Call of Ratura's quest even counts, but if, if it doesn't, then we're just going to ignore that for the remainder. And we may have just thrown 40 gems out, but we're going to get them back. With little effort. Now, we will be spending 20 more gems this episode, but first, let's see. That's four gems and three gems. I guess we just got seven back. We need to do it like this. Distract. And that gives you 4,000 bits. Very nice. And rarity. A sign that leaves us with uh, plenty of characters left. Tourists! And we get two more gems, there we go. But, every pony, our reward session does not stop there. Oh no, it does not, because we have enough to play the the good um, balloon minigame. Now, give me gems for days! Buttons! Uh, hey, four gems, I'll take those! Sweet! Like it. Very much approve of this. Um, let's see. Is there any more bats? Oh, male pony does sometimes have gems. Not today, though. Oh, look, look. Look at these sneaky guys. Didn't have anything, though. Um, on to the Crystal Empire. Next stop. And we have some pony who donated a heart. Thank you very much to whoever put this here. Um, no, seriously, every pony. if you know, we all work together and everyone knows each other's friend codes. We can basically spam each other with these hearts, and that means you can do, like, a second balloon pop every single time. Let's just get rid of you real quick and take the money. Speaking of money, look at how much money we have at this point. Um, Orange Pony, you are important. And now we can switch you around because we have so many ponies. We are right now going to play the apple picking game to advance... Another quest. 18,000, that's fine, you can have that. Alicorns have money, money growing on trees instead of apples, every pony. Maybe. <clears throat> no, seriously, there is a spell that lets you grow coins on trees. That exists, every pony. That is not fake. <clears throat> okay, these apples are playing real, really, really hard to catch. Uh, other way, get that. <clears throat> are these apples just getting quicker? Is that me? <laughs> Maybe that's just me being slow. Get you! Alright, we got 300 points. And that can mean that we get more stars and possibly an additional gem with this pony. And we get a ribbon. One ribbon down. Next up, we get... The apple picking minigame with the orange crystal pony. Got it. Also, right now, ad watching is broken, as it says on their support page, for those of you wondering. I hope we get that fixed next update. Remove small black crystals. Like these. Okay, so it's basically... Um, clear the obstacles. Ooh. Look, th look at that. There's, like, tiny ones that are, like, only 750. Let's get those. 
Because the big ones is somehow like 10 or 3,000. Look at this. This is 10,000. And this is barely bigger than this, this tiny one back here. Get you. That's three. Let's see. That is number four. And that is number five. How long does it take to clear that? Ten minutes it is. Um, let's just quickly go over how to find the winning conditions, every pony. Okay, let me quickly go over this again. So we got the Harmony Stones... But we have to defeat Nightmare Moon. We defeated Candorlot. We defeated Sweet Apple Acres. The Crystal Kingdom is something that we have to progress in the Ever Freeze Down. Um, the Changeling Kingdom has been defeated. This um, last section with uh, Capper's Town is also one that we have to do. Um, but outside of that, I don't see the quest with Coloratura appearing anywhere in here, every pony. So you know what? We're just going to ignore this quest then and um, assume it to be uh, optional and all that for the time being. Let's take a look at Capper's Town because that's where, where we're going to be spending a couple more gems today. Oh, but maybe we'll get some gems before heading there from removing these little corruption puddles, everypony. Any more? There's no more. Oh, one more. Also, Spike is gone. But he did leave us with a bunch of gems. But I'm pretty sure he usually comes around during um, these events where we can get like gems and all that. So when whenever there's an event, every pony come on just to find Spike over and over. Okay, game. Time to spend 20 gems. There you go. Okay. So, that means there's one more. Oh, wait. This is empty! This is empty! We've defeated it! We've defeated it! No, seriously, we've defeated it! That was the last step! We win? Hey! Wait, what? Huh? No, what, really? That means we've done it, didn't we? You can find buildings to repair. Oh. So, which one do we repair? This has been repaired. Huh? Have I been playing this place wrong the entire time? Possibly. But seriously, what if we... What if we did it all? Nothing in here really looks like it needs any repairing. Seriously, did we beat this place without realizing we did? Nah, you don't have anything for me. That's done. Did we actually just beat up Capper's Town on accident? And what can I say? I looked at the wiki and apparently all the quests listed there were at least at some point done by us. So, what can I say? I guess we defeated another area in the game that is something i did not expect every pony uh maybe this is a bug i don't know maybe maybe there's something to report but at least for now it seems we've done everything i'm gonna go the distance and report it in case this is a bug but if it isn't we can at least for now say this place is done and dealt with wait wasn't it like a special um hippogriff you're supposed to be getting i think that's how that went but there is no, like, uh, thing that I could place. So maybe we're gonna get some quests in a future update. But for now, another area is cleared, everybody. I'll gladly take that victory. Whew, look at our gem count counter. That is down, but we we always get it back. And whoa. Are, have we possibly been given an opportunity to get some back immediately? That's some money that we could get back, and... Let's be honest, having 400 gems is still quite a lot to go by. Let's start by doing this and get started. Wait, 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 wait. Before, before we make any rash decisions and immediately get, in, get into dancing, out of the corner of my eye, I saw a second one. And you have to click participate. Otherwise, it's not going to count for both of these like it should be. And we're going to do this one later. Is it? Oh, there's not even that much at stake. There's no gems. The game knows. The game knows. That it's running out of time. No, seriously, there's only two more quest lines at this point, and that is the Crystal Kingdom and Ponyville. 
Sheesh, we're close to seriously beating a mobile game, and I never thought that was possible, huh? Go, New Leaf! Does this mean we get to dance with Twily? I like dancing with Twily, every pony. She dances by the book, but every pony? Sometimes you have to stray off of the familiar path to experience all the fun things, every pony. That is life lessons, every pony. No, seriously, it's important. A book can only take you so far. Ah! Come on, get some points. Also, everybody, I think today, or at the moment of the release of this video, there's like only a couple more hours for you to um, participate in the pen and paper for those who wish so. So if you have been procrastinating up to this point, like sometimes I do, then you really should get going right now, every pony. Um, current standing is we have six people who are trying to participate, which is a lot. And we're just gonna see how this goes. But I think it's gonna be awesome, every pony. I usually like doing these creative things. Ah! Come on, Leaf! Better hit those notes. We better be really, really amazing at this. So, every pony, like I said at the beginning, we um, recently hit 700 subscribers, which is super duper amazing and more than I ever expected. I have to thank you from the bottom of my little heart, every pony, because I never thought we would be getting here. But, every pony, there is a couple of ideas. So, let's go over them. So, for one, I haven't done a QA ever since I had 50 subscribers, so, you know, every pony else who's joined ever since gets to ask questions. Number two, and that is probably the more exciting one, and one that I've come up with where I'm like, this is probably something ponies haven't, you know, figured out yet. What if we make a commission with, like, as many ponies as we can fit in every pony? And I know an artist who could draw a lot of ponies, so what if we just go ahead and try to see if we can find someone who can draw a bunch of us and any pony who wants on that commission is very welcome. We can have one huge epic group picture every pony. That would be crazy. And finally, um, the third is a little bit of a culinary one, every pony, where we would be um, doing a cider testing, every pony, and we would be tasting different ciders from across Equestria, every pony. That also includes non-alcoholic ones, every pony, of course. And we could be um, experiencing a bunch of good stuff, or we just do all three together, every pony. I think it would be awesome. We have so many options and so many opportunities, you know. So if you ponies have something that I didn't already think of, throw it in the comments. Also, I'm gonna like it. Um, do we already get some for this? Not even over here? That's a little. That's a little. Okay, so let's just start by going ahead and collecting some gems now. Uh, we need to go into the Everfree Forest. And we're gonna have to get rid of a bunch of, like, clearables. Vines, bats, Paris sprites. Those are all very, very reliable sources of, um, of bits and gems, every pony. Oh! Lucky? Not lucky. Oh, look at all these. We're bound to get lucky in one of these, right? I swear, earlier we were getting super lucky, and now, not so much. Please? Nope. Pretty, please? You gotta give this to me, right? Apparently it doesn't. Let's go this way. Ah. Hot and lucky. Come on! You? It didn't bring any. So I guess the forest is great for racking up money, but it is absolutely horrible for finding gems. We're gonna go to some of the other places that have... Decent uh, probabilities of getting gems. I think we're gonna start things off in Ponyville and just try to collect as many of these as we can. Um, any Paris sprites? There's usually Paris sprites. There, there's always Paris sprites around this place. Uh, please. That guard from earlier. Um, here we go. Nope. Please. Oh, Celestia's sake! More. Nope. Hey, guard, can you get more pear sprites? No, probably not. Shop for his nephew? 
So more guards, is that also gonna want, like, even more of these helmet things? Probably. Now seriously, every pony, this- look at how stern this guy looks. He probably never has fun. He's too busy collecting hats. Seriously, guards, you take your things very seriously, and it's a good thing, but remember to have fun in the process. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to invite you to a party. Organized by Pinkie Pie, every pony. If that doesn't put a smile on your face, then nothing will. And can we get up to... Oh, look at this. We're just gonna- we're just gonna touch all the fake Twilights. Oh, new pony over here. We're gonna greet her, but first... Yes! You will give us everything you own! There you go. Who's this? Another friendly face, and her name is... Um... Swan Song. Oh, every pony. I remember this one. She's um, an excellent singer, every pony. Oh, more fake twilights. You gotta have a gem already. You gotta, you gotta donate. It's technically not a donation because I'm forcing it out of him. You don't have to know that though. Seriously, where'd that guy go? There he is. Urgh, give me, give me, give me, give me. Please. Oh. How about you? You any better? Seriously, these changelings. I usually don't like them, but if they have. If they have a gem or two, I'll take that. Gosh. These guys are greedy. Alright, fake Applejack. Maybe fake Applejack's better. Um, Where'd he go? I don't see him. I know he landed somewhere. She changelings are apparently harder to find... When they're in their normal form, but when they're transformed into another pony, that's when it becomes easy. No, seriously, where'd that guy go? Found it! This is the last guy. If he doesn't have any gems, that will have been... <sighs> a massive fluke and a waste of elemental shards. <sighs> Thanks, game. Um, I think we're just gonna get into the events today, every pony. Let let's get that done. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Wait, before we continue with the events, it's been 10 minutes, every pony, so this means all the clearables are now gone. Okay, we've rescued all the crystal ponies we, we can find, so it's time to regroup with Shining Armor Kids. Oh, we're approaching the final here as well? Twilight, one of these days we need oh. to get together when the fate of Equestria isn't hanging in the balance. Yes. Cadence has been able to use her magic to spread love and light. That seems to be what is protecting the Empire from King Sombra. Oh, uh, so we gotta get rid of them. Oh, uh, just when I was feeling good about getting close to, to beating the game. So there's basically a final quest line here. We need you to find out how we can stop the Unicorn King. Oh, look, Shining Armor is running out of voice acting lines. All right. And suddenly, two qu two of these! Crystal Library, welcome Amethyst Marysbury. Easy. And Twilight Sparkle wants us to find a magic book, and we need to send her to read a couple of books. Um, what exact- oh, look at how long this quest line is! <laughs> Ugh, I was so optimistic earlier when we beat Capper's Tom, but here we are. We're not even... Okay, we're more than halfway there. Uh, we've been spending so many gems every pony. This will unfortunately be something where we're going to have to do some waiting. And besides, it's not that bad. It's just a bunch of waiting around and we can get this done quickly. Um, what about spikes? Oh. Wait. So, they both have individual quest lines? Right? They have two individual quest lines. You gotta be kidding me. So, this is 50 quests in the Crystal Empire. Oh, we know what we're gonna be dealing with for the next few episodes and beating this place. I mean, now that Capper's Sound is officially done and Ponyville's, you know, collect collection madness has been ended. 
We're really approaching the end, and Call of Ratura's quest has been declared optional, which does help her cause every pony. But for real, let's get into the events. Yeah. Um, let's just start with flying. Let's get around in flying, see if we can get 5,000 bits, and begin. I'm ready. Go, Twily! We're gonna fly! Yeah. Up to the top of the world! And get all those clouds and zoom through the skies! Beating any speed limits. No, seriously, every pony. I was told that humans have speed limits, every pony. That's like the most uncool thing ever, every pony. I can tell you if there was speed limits, that is just encouraging ponies to break them, every pony. That's how that works around here. Ponies can be rebels and well, okay, I'm a rebel. Then again, my brother is a rebel, most of my family is. Eh, what can I say? It sticks in the family, every pony. Oh, g g give me that, give me that. Yes! We may have lost a little bit of time, but we're still doing moderately good. Keep collecting the clouds and the, the clock things. That's the most important thing. Perfect. 419. Let's see if we can get at least 600 points. Come on, Leaf. We need a lot of clouds quickly. The one time when you don't want Pegasi clearing the skies, they do, I guess, not a horrible job. Please get it. Oh, we got that. Please. Oh, we're probably just gonna get 500. We're probably gonna get 500. Oh, get that, get that. Oh, get it, get it, get it. Yeah. Ah! Yes, we got 611 at the last, last, last two moments, every pony. Yes! Mission accomplished, Leaf. Oh, yeah. Is she sandwich pur purchasable? Let's see. She sandwich? Cheese sandwich? I never knew cheese sandwich was a purchasable pony. If if he's if he's cheap, we can just go ahead and get him right now. A look at Luna's guards. Those are only two hundred gems, but the one from Celestia was one thousand. Every pony, that is dirty. Oh look, Rose Luck is three hundred even, but Rose Luck is one of my favorite neighbors. Every pony, because she uh, takes care of the flowers. Every pony taking care of flowers is a very very nice thing of a pony because it tells you that you know someone is good at um, watching for details and caring for for some creature, and that is a very very nice thing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna quickly do the remaining runs and then see where our rank gets us, every pony. 950. 786 points. And for the final run we have... We have a score line of 634. Now let's take a look at our look uh, our um, standings. That puts us at... Rank number 62? We're gonna get a whole pony for this? Silver Shill? Oh, that is a rare, rare thing, every pony. But usually one thing that I notice when I upload these videos, ponies realize, hey, I could do it too, and then they, you know, get into it, which is awesome. I like competition, every pony, so let's see if you can take this one from me. Right. Um, this is also rank-based, as far as I can tell. Yeah, this is rank-based, but this one over here is just based off of points, right? Yeah, this is just based off of points. Which means there isn't too much special stuff to go around, right? Let's see, is there any balloon pop that I haven't done yet? Because it feels, feels like there's something I wanted to do, but end, ended up forgetting. Up, oh, this this guy. See, this is one that we can always basically do if we keep sharing hearts. Look at that. Easy, easy shards. Um, let's show you the friend code for those of you who are new. All you have to do is add this, and that means we can exchange things. And then you can gift all your friends something, and then you can receive something from all your friends. And look at that. That's how quickly you can build up um, a little bit of funds. Okay, so that was most of the dancing um, mini games that gave you a lot of points. So let's take a look at... Oh, rewards! And that is five elemental shards, and over here we're at rank 159, every pony. Wait a second, I, I didn't do some of the tiny ones yet. Give me two seconds. 
So I quickly did both of the remaining songs that didn't do, and apparently we were given gifts, and let's see if our ranking is high enough this time. We have rank 49 with um, this pony now. So, right now I'm currently in possession of two ponies. That sounds incredibly dark. So, since we're already approaching 30 minutes, I say we're gonna go ahead and see if there's something that I can, like, buy at the end that would be important for me. Uh, da -da -da -da. we click you. Is there anything that I could place immediately? Nothing here. Let's, let's check out the shops. There's nothing. Oh, 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 the Buckball muse Museum is a shop. I'm definitely putting that down. Do we need more space for that? No, we do not need more space. Awesome! Another source of income, every pony. Very, very awesome. Um, let's go into the shop. Um, ponies. Let's go to Ponyville. Is there a good pony that I could have right now? Uh, Mr. Breezy, another guy who's gonna rip gems right out of my forehead if I'm not looking the right way. Clear skies, look at that! That's 750,000! Sheesh! Ponies are expensive and demanding! But you know what? I say we're gonna spend 20,000 bits on that other pony just so we, we have someone else. We'll, we'll be able to have someone else and um, get stuff done. Um, oh no, we have, to, we have to go into this one. Characters and then Sweet Apple Acres. Let's get Twist as the final thing of today. And, wait, wait, I remember what I wanted to do. I remember what I wanted to do at the beginning. And that is to take care of the stars. And we need four more stars to be able to get something. Okay, game. All right. So who is a pony that we haven't done much with at this point? There's got to be some pony who doesn't, doesn't get a lot of attention that we can play with right now, huh? Let's go with you. And beacon. Oh, fine, we're gonna go under a million, but we are also gonna make that back very quickly because we are rich ponies and we can have things whenever we please to have them. Oh, isn't this nice getting to play ball with a lovely little filly? Seriously, it's a good thing to always have exercise and involve as many ponies as you can because exercise can be a social activity, every pony. Eh. Keep going. Let's speed it up. Oh, we are losing so much speed. Eh. I'm, I'm too slow on the uptake. There we go. This is not a good score, every pony. Eh. Maybe we'll be able to get 400 if we're lucky. Ah, we barely scraped 400, but we could have done so much more! We could have done so much more on that. I feel horrible for that now. And we get 3,003 points. Is that going to be enough for two stars? Please? Uh, not exactly. Alright, I think that is going to be something we will have to work for next time around because if you take a look see at the star masteries i'm needing three more stars and then i'm having having another milestone over here and that can get me into good places every pony all right but every pony i suppose with that i think all you lovely ponies so much for watching and i'll see you next time bye bye and remember every pony the pen and paper is gonna start soon and you have eight more hours until the end also, if you want to see more videos like this, make sure to subscribe to the channel. You'll be notified whenever there's a new video. And there's new stuff here every single day, including a pony who advises you to eat your muffins, every pony. Mm.